But George, yeah. recently, uh, the link read has pushed to highlight traditional restaurants and shops, you know, basically the taste, the, the color of Hong Kong. You're aware of the Facebook uh, campaign, the, the, the counter campaign, which criticized uh, your organization for hiking rents to the point where it drives out traditional, like noodle, congee shops, uh, one uh, man uh, proprietorships, and, you know, businesses run by couples. How do, you, how do you respond to that criticism? There have been hundreds, if not thousands, of uh, posts on this uh, Facebook campaign. Well, I think we recognize over the weekend, um, as we have stopped that campaign, mm -hmm. um, that um, any focus on the nostalgic element is probably not too appropriate for uh, the link read, um, given the current circumstances. Mm. Um, at the same time, you know, on, on, the, on the issue itself, uh, we have seen occupancy rate increasing. We have seen the retention rate increasing. Mm. Uh, we have seen a lot of the small um, shops uh, doing well. In fact, the number of small shops um, less than 1,000 square feet, right. um, not r operated by any of the chains, mm -hmm. have increased about 13% since Probably. IPO. Um, okay. So the numbers have increased. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, the people who operate, the tenants might have changed, and okay. I think in this change that has some impact. Yeah. No, fair enough. I mean, it's, just, it's not a charity. It's a business. This is Hong Kong, after all. George, thank you for spending your time much. with us. Okay, George Hong Choi, CEO of The Link. Great.